<laughs> we've got some explaining to do. Um, we've seen your guys' comments, and you guys want to know what happened to Jake. So we're going to just sit down and tell you guys the story of exactly what went down and why Jake left Seaboys TV. We didn't want to keep you guys in the dark for this long, uh, but there was there was two reasons mainly. Uh, one is our friendship is like the most important part through this. Uh, so we didn't want to say anything based on emotion or without all the complete facts or before anything was set in stone. Uh, the second part is we're all business partners. Uh, so there was a lot of paperwork and dumb business stuff like that, that we had, we had to take care of before we could say anything. So it didn't affect either of our groups. Yeah. The, the legal side of things did complicate it to make it worse. Okay. So, uh, to put a timeline on the events here, uh, February of this year, uh, we were approached by a guy, uh, and he, he said that he would like to become our manager, our YouTube manager, business manager, um, help with film production ideas. Um, so we, we heard what he had to say uh, from the start, had a couple meetings. Jake seemed to really like what he had to say and kind of was pushing for it, for it to be a thing. And so we talked about it. We weighed out the, the pros and the cons and um, what the good things that could come out of it and the bad things. We don't want to get locked into something um, for the future that could change the, the way this channel is moving. So um, we wanted to stay authentic. We talked about all that and uh, ended up, you know, we're a business, we ended up taking a vote. Uh, so the six of us kind of voted on it and it was, it was kind of five to one. And uh, we, we ended up telling him no, uh, it's not for us. At the time, we didn't even know if we could afford a manager. So uh, yeah, we, we, we said no and, and that's kind of where it ended there. But then fast forward to uh, the end of April, uh, Jake, Drop the bomb on us. That that the time frame there. There's a couple months of just not knowing anything, not knowing there was anything going on. And and he came to us and he told us that he was leaving the channel with the this manager and he was gonna do his own thing. I don't really think he even really knew at the time what it was, and obviously we didn't. But I gotta say, like we <laughs> we thought he was joking. You know, hey boys, yeah. I'm leaving the channel just out of nowhere. We we thought. Well, we, this can't be serious. This can't be real. What do you mean? You're leaving? Well, I'm sure that's what you guys, as soon as you heard this or when you figured out that he was gone, I mean, uh, a lot, it's a lot to wrap your mind around. So, so yeah, he said he was, he was uh, wanting to pursue his own thing and see what he could do on his own. And, and so at the time, we, we had six million thoughts going through our brain trying to understand what exactly he wanted. Um, most of us in denial want, you know, for the first couple of weeks trying to talk him out of it. Um, and at the end of the day, as that time went on, realizing that we're not in control of his life either, you know? Um, but. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't want to be here, we're not gonna freaking make him be here, you know? Like, we tried to, to talk him out of leaving, but like, he was very adamant. He, he's like, like, I'm sure about what I'm doing. This is what I want to do. and. I mean, at that, when you say that to us, then we want you to go and do what you want to do, man. Like, you know, like, yeah, that, that was really what it came down to. We want him to stay. He wanted to go do his own thing. So we support him in what he wants to do for himself. So, yeah, that was back at the end of April, um, five months ago. And like, we're not going to lie to you guys. It was hard. Like it was probably one of the hardest things that we've had to go through. Definitely. Um, but we didn't necessarily want to just put everything that we've built uh, on hold. So we just continued to grind and make the best content that we could. Um, and we have absolutely crushed the past five months, I think. You know, the views have been awesome. The subs have been great. And your guys' support has honestly got us through these shitty times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And so, I mean, we didn't want, at the end of the day, like what Ryan said earlier, we waited to tell you this. We, we were always gonna, we saw your comments. We knew you guys 
knew that we saw your comments, um, but we didn't want to pounce on anything um, and and create this false like there's no YouTube beef here. This is yeah. a, this is our best friend who um, took a path that I, I shouldn't even say that we're not happy with. Just took a different path that that left us um, just sad and and upset, but. Uh, we had to look at it as, a, as an opportunity, you know, yeah. and and that's what we did. And honestly, like, like yeah, at the start we were all like extremely like, like I mean we were rattled, and I think there was you know there was some hard feelings, uh, but I mean over the course of summer, like things resolved themselves, and I mean honestly we're all friends now still to this day. I mean Jake shows up in the shop uh, just out of nowhere all the time. He'll pull up and he'll whoop my ass in ping pong, I'll whoop his ass in pool, and then he'll do a donut in his Mustang and peel out of here. You know, like we still Snapchat, we still text, and that's with everybody, you know? Yeah. Like we're all still friends. <clears throat> Maybe someday, if Jake wants to, he can be in some more videos again, if he wants to. But I mean, he's more than welcome to. Jake, if you're watching this, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but until then, like, dude, we're, we're rooting for Jake. We wish him all the best, man, um, and I'm sure he wishes us the, the same. Yeah, there's no sides. It's not us against Jake or Jake against us. Um, he just wanted to go a different way, and we're going to just continue on and, and continue to make the best content that we can. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, you guys should support us both. It's, uh, I don't think there's sides. Yeah, like we're, we're, just, we're telling you this story because we owe it to you, you know? You guys support us, and... Uh, he was a big part of our channel, and he'll be a big part of whatever his own thing is. Um, so yeah, we owe it to you just to to be transparent, appreciate everything that you guys do, and the continued support through this wacky situation. Um, Dude, we're gonna just keep going though. So uh, buckle up, stay tuned. Uh, we're not stopping anytime soon. So no, we're on the road to a million. Let's go, boys. Ride, boys. Appreciate the love and support. You guys mean the world to us, and uh, we hope that you guys can understand. Thank you. Thanks. Let's get in the video. What is we it? got something big. Is that a caterpillar? Millipede? Oh my gosh, Marble. it's so late right now, you can hardly see hey, it. But... Ain't nobody gonna be saying I have a hot dog car anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, dude. It is amazing. This is amazing. Beautiful. This thing is so big. We're gonna have our own limo now. This is straight up amazing. What? Oh my gosh. It's nice, bro. If you get pulled over, if you have this in the back window or laying back there, you won't get in any then trouble. we're good. Is insuring one of these things tough or? What's that? The, the limo. <laughs> not for personal don't use. Don't have it as commercial. Yeah, okay. Not okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. You guys. What is, I cannot believe. This is like one of the best days. I'm so excited, dude. <laughs> My favorite part is it's got these two tiny little tube TVs yes. and it's got a VHS what? in the back. Oh my God, I just so noticed like, that. Ryan's got uh, some, some like snowmobile films on VHS. Dude. So we just roll them all the time or <laughs> That'd be sick too. <laughs> this is insane. It's got a little TV. Like, I feel like this is, this, so this is what rich people do. This is what you can do, man. This is amazing. <laughs> so we just bought this limo for $3,500. Don't ask me how we got it that cheap. And actually, it was mostly because of Tim because he oh, was doing some great line. negotiating. But yeah. look how far away. <laughs> hey, you guys doing okay down there? Dude, I swear. Every day my life gets crazy. <laughs> Ryan. Can you oh, hear me now? You, you're gonna head to the same place we are? Yeah. Yeah, I'll follow you since you're up front. Okay, I'm really excited to see how this corner goes. Like, oh, I have it fully cranked, dude. Fully cranked. Oh my and God. And I hardly made the corner. Okay, so we dude, definitely- Dude, I'm nervous. To, yeah, keep, keep an eye on the turns. I, do, I don't know if I know how to drive this. Hey, CJ, which way to your high school? Uh, left. All right, we're here. I said I was never gonna come back here unless I was arriving in a limo when I walked out of here my senior year. And uh, honestly, this day came a lot sooner than I expected. We're fucking, we're here, man. You slammed the door on my face. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, you fucking made it, dude. Thank you, guys.
guys. Can I get a round of applause for this uh, successful man? Hey, I wish I had a speech right now. I just don't. I'm sorry. You don't need a speech when you look this good. So we just pulled up to the gas station. Ryan's like, dude, you guys, the brakes are not working. And every time we squeeze the brakes, luckily it's not a broken brake line, but where the fitting is, it's squirting out brake fluid every time Ryan presses the brakes. So we're gonna go find some tools and try to tighten it up and hopefully be okay. I don't think there's a single body panel on here that hasn't been keyed. Whoever keyed this thing was fucking pissed. I'm just gonna say it, man. Like, they got the whole vehicle. What do you guys think they look like? The person? Yeah. I don't know, probably pretty stupid. Okay. Yeah, like a so Roblox character. Just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a square. <laughs> so I watch you guys shit all the time. Hey, thanks, bro. What the? F Look at the back, the tailgate, and the actual on my way to. Oh my God! <laughs> White trash. Well, Jesus, <laughs> with the finger banger, nice, very nice. I was nice so touches. shocked to see you guys. Yeah. Yeah, we just start uh, up. we're having limousine trouble. So basically, what Tint and Cody just discovered is that the brake line is all rusted through. We were thinking we were gonna maybe like JB weld it real quick, but they're looking at it and they're thinking it's not gonna be possible. So I don't know. They're okay enough to maybe sort of hopefully get back to the lake. That's mostly on Ryan. I think we'll be okay, but hopefully we make it. If not, see you guys then. There she is. Woo! Looking clean as ever, baby. Yeah. <laughs> going vlog mode for a second here basically we got a lot of stuff going on at the shop today justin and ryan are trying to figure out what we're going to do about the brakes here we're thinking there's more than likely nothing more we can do at least ourselves probably gonna take it to the shop just get a whole new brake line put in not a big deal but it's gonna be a lot of brake line i mean it's a freaking limo you missed out on a good time last night man Bro, i leave for two days and i come back and you guys buy a limo i know this nope. this is quite possibly the best like I, quote we unquote, say like all the time this ain't a peanut no, 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 no but no. it's like the same like peanut qualities like we go out we buy like a cheap car like it was pretty cheap for a limo i i know it was a no-brainer quite frankly it's not a peanut no it's not, not a peanut no no it's no, not, no. It's not a peanut we're so, not we're not gonna jump it no, we are not. We have going no to jump plans it. in jumping it. I feel like you're on a different page from everyone, so I'm trying to catch you up. Oh, we are not going to destroy this thing. We're going to drive it nicely. It, you don't realize how comfortable and how good of a time you have in here. Holy shit! Is this your first time? This here? is my first time what? being in it. Don't mind oh, the, the chips wow. on the side. But... Bro, it's like got a full on bar. Yeah, yeah. So we'll fill that up, and it's, it's legal to drink in the back here. Is it? Yeah, completely legal. Can I be honest, though? I don't think this is gonna help like our drinking it problem. <laughs> I don't have a problem, just Micah does. The whole ceiling's a mirror. Yeah, everything's mirrored. We had one of our friend's wives in here last night and she was telling me that we are creepy. Oh, I got, yeah. Listen, I just bought this thing an hour ago. I didn't put all the mirrors in here, but I kind of like it. That was the first one. Yeah, mod. she wasn't too happy. Honestly though, like... She's right, you guys are creeps. <laughs> well, I didn't tell her she was wrong. I said, believe me, I'm a freaking weirdo. But but a, I didn't put these mirrors in myself. This is so sick. I know. Like, it just doesn't even seem real that you guys have yeah. a mirror. This is like a life achievement that nobody ever has. I know. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, we tried putting drift sleeves on our smart car with tires so we could slide them around the parking lot. Well, the drift sleeve was too big. So anyways, we ordered new tires that were an inch taller in diameter. And uh, basically now we're hoping this should work. Cause it's gonna fit the tube, it's gonna be tight. So basically we just gotta drain all the air, pound it into that sleeve, and then uh, throw it on one of the smart cars and pray to God that it works. I don't know, dude. Nice. I'll just be surprised if they fit. It's like putting a tube oh, in. Oh yeah, dude, now yeah, you got Work it. Work our way around. Ah! Yeah. Oh, oh yes! Oh. Let's go! Oh, that one felt real good. Now we just air it up. I don't want it anymore. 53. I don't want this thing to explode. 53? That's not that much. Uh, probably not that high. What? That, if this thing explodes, dude, this is gonna send shards all over. I'd probably say like go 30. These tires aren't rated that high. And now they're on there, so we're good. 44 PSI is max. Well, the thing is, is the tube is the one holding the pressure. Yeah, it's just fine. Bro, you know how strong this fucking tube is? All right, man, you know what? I'll get a helmet and safety goggles and you start filling this I'm stuff. just saying, dude, like that's a strong tube. That's the thick plastic. Yeah. 
There's a breaking point though. <laughs> and this is totally gonna rub on your wrap, man. I'm sorry. Can I tell okay. you what? Nothing matters. Can we clip that and quote that next time you get stressed out about something? Look at that talk. Rip your fenders off, bro. <laughs> that is some good fitment right there. Ken, do you have any extra wrap laying around just in case we may or may not have to replace the bumper? I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun while it lasted. And the digital camo's discontinued, so. Oh, shit. Well, good thing, uh, as my buddy Ken once said, uh, nothing matters. Nothing matters. All right, Ken. Full sand, man. Oh, this thing doesn't have any brake fluid in it, so. Oh, who cares about that, Ken? You're not going to need brakes from here going. That thing is not straight. He, you can totally tell he's going to mess his fender up. Here you go, large Ken. Die in a smart car, I think the world is gonna be pissed. Dude. They won't be mad, be so they'll just pissed. be disappointed. Put your seatbelt on, hold on tight, okay? <laughs> Holy shit! I saw her neck like whip. <laughs> alright, alright, one more, one more. more. Alright, hold on! I feel nervous with her in there. I wouldn't care if Ben rolled it, but... Just slammed, dude. It would not be a soft roll either. Hell that no. thing would go just... Dude, you want a helmet? No. You want a neck okay. brace? <laughs> Honestly, it works pretty well. For what it is, I'm it works pretty well. He's so cool right now. Oh, I know he does. He, he literally thinks he's Ken Block right now. <laughs> oh! Like he's doing this in a Maserati <laughs> yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, like there's like, talent involved. <laughs> Yo, uh -oh. this yeah. is this is definitely from your car. What is it? Is it metal? Is it the axle? Ken! <laughs> Ken! Luckily, nothing matters. Nothing matters. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this goes to, but I that looks important. That, yeah. Do you know what this is for? I feel like I've seen it when I was putting his wheels on. Yeah, like they would it. hang down. Let's pull it inside. <laughs> Ken's all worried now. Wait, no, this does come out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so besides cleaning up the limo, we uh, kind of throwing a little bit of a dinner party. We got the whole crew over. We're going to watch a movie after this. We were watching football before. We are getting our hot tub finally filled after uh, moving it out of our old shop last May. We had to get some concrete slab laid down to create a patio with our nice new door. Yeah, this is something to celebrate. They're we making fun of me. Other than <laughs> no, we didn't just start roasting the shit out of you as soon as you walked out of the room. this dinner party. Dinner yeah. party? I don't know what it is. Doesn't matter. Normal people in yeah. Kiki for once. Oh, what? <laughs> I thought we were celebrating the new uh, limousine. 
Welcome to my crib. We're like throwing a dinner party. It's hot dogs. Hey, what up, guys? It's my name's hot CJ. Dogs. You know, got my fam here. We were watching football earlier. Now I made dinner and it's a dinner party. We're smashing plates all over the place. It's sick. Now we're, gonna go <laughs> we're filling up the hot tub. Gonna get some bitches in there. It's gonna be so sick. <laughs> 